Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I have a snuggly buddy here sitting beside me. Uh, we are just starting our school morning. Um, everybody's sitting in here, actually, looking so good and ready to start school. Yes, that you know what? That, that's the truth. It's amusing because he's pretending it's a school day. That's the truth because... Um, the three kids here have their backpacks already and they're like pretending they're going to school today. So this might work to my advantage because they're all sitting here with their backpacks ready to go. Anyway, before we get started on this day, I wanted to let you guys know that this video is extra special because I am collabing with my friend Bethany Fontaine. I am so excited to be collabing with her today. I have been watching her channel for, you just want to say hi too, don't you? Uh, for... I want to say like four years now at Gentle. Um, it's been a long time. And she is another Canadian mommy. She has two little ones. They are very close in age to Wesley and Zara. So uh, my two youngest. Bethany posts a lot of day in the life videos and just like sit down mommy chats. Kind of like some of my mommy chat videos. Um, one of my favorite things about Bethany is how real and raw her videos are so she shows some really fun times with her kids to be honest she seems like a really fun mom because she just does a lot of creative things with her kids DIY projects and stuff but she also is not afraid to show um, and talk about the hard things with staying at home and the hard things with parenting <laughs> well then <laughs> So I'm going to link down in my description below her video for today. She's also going to be posting a day in the life. So when you're done watching my video, please go down in my description and check out Bethany's video as well. And I know that you will enjoy her channel. I was telling you about these cute kids all ready for school. So I wanted to show you. Zara's got her backpack and she's sitting here reading. What a good little student you are. Hey, you still have jam on your cheek. <laughs> Charity's over here with her backpack. She's reading and Simeon's up here on the windowsill with, with his book. His backpack is down here. Oh, you brought your bear to school. Who let yes, you bring your bear to school? For teddy bear picnic. Oh, awesome. But I'm too old for teddy bear picnic. No way. Um, we have a little, uh, Charity has some some backwards earrings here. One earring in backwards, one earring in forwards. Because it do you wanna, go in. Do you want to tell everybody what happened? It's because I wanted uh, my dangling earrings in in one day, and then uh, and then they were too heavy, so I took them out. Yeah, so but we never I put my other ones back in. So then they started closing up a little bit. Uh huh. And so we then, never really take her earrings out, but one day last week she said, I want to wear my dangly earrings. So I put them in. It lasted for like, what, 10 minutes? And she's like, I don't want to wear these. And so how long do you think you didn't have earrings in for? About five or six days. I think five or six days, yeah. So I had to put a bit of pressure on them and <laughs> really, not really force them in, but eh, yeah, kind of force them in. And the one would only go in backwards. So that's your style for today. What? Oh yeah, so I love that you even chose for your school book, you even chose an education book. Okay, but that being said, all right, it's time for us to come over here. Got my coffee already. That's a necessary uh, homeschool, uh, homeschool assistant. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, and we're going to start our science. Just a little look at what our living room here <laughs> looks like after about the first uh, hour of school. So... This is what this looks like in here. Charity's over here doing her writing. Elijah's running past me. He finished his writing. And um, Simeon's doing his writing. Zara is working on, she's basically done like the curriculum I got for her for junior kindergarten. And so she's just working on this book. Hold on a second. I think I got this from Costco like a few years ago. I'm pretty sure I bought it for Elijah and he never completed it. So she's just doing some extra kind of fun pages in there. And Wesley is having a little snack. So I just wanted to say something really quick about that mess that's over in the other room. Um, and I get comments once in a while saying like, why is your house always so clean and how come it's never messy and whatever. And I do like to keep our house as clean as I can. Messes happen. So that room is a disaster right now. But our kids will not be having lunch until it's cleaned up. So 
messes happen, but we definitely have times throughout the day, like before lunch, okay? Get everything cleaned up. Um, and then if anything gets kind of messed up before rest time again, before rest time, okay, clean everything up again. And then before supper, we'll do the same thing. And then before bedtime, we do the same thing. So yes, like huge messes happen, but they get cleaned up kind of before the next activity. Good job, I love all your balloons. Okay, let's do some of this. Look at the pictures below and tell what's happening in the story. This is a tricky one. This is why Elijah never finished this because this does not seem like kindergarten level. Making a birthday cake. You're gonna put a one in the circle that looks like it happens first, and two, and then three, and then four. So what do you think the first step is in baking a cake? That's what? a little bit tricky. <laughs> no. You know what you can do if you want to? You can just color in those circles. That would be fine. Then we have this guy who like loves to chew on our pencil sharpeners. No, thank you. Um, Charity, would you go run and get a paper for Wesley? He is playing with pencils. He may as well have a paper. Um, no, go run and get him another paper. No, no, no. all went outside for break time. Well, other than Zara, because she wanted to stay inside and keep working on her kindergarten workbook. Crazy kid. Uh, but I can just see them out the door back there. They're all playing. Um, anyways, I wanted to sit down. I'm going onto Walmart's website and hopefully able to um, book a grocery pickup slot. I got an email a few days ago. Elijah's baseball glove sitting up there. I got an email a couple days ago from Walmart saying, we miss you, we miss you coming to do grocery pickup, which is kind of funny because I actually have done a grocery pickup in the last, when did I do it? Two or three weeks ago now. But I have not been doing grocery pickup nearly as often as um, I had been in the past before I was unable to find grocery slots. Anyways, that email, they said, they, we miss you. And they said, your next four grocery orders, you will get $15 off each order. Thanks, Walmart, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go on today. I don't need groceries for probably another, another week. Uh, but I know that I need to book my slots a week in advance in order to secure one. So hopefully I can do this, but getting $15 off my order is awesome. Are you ready to go outside? Is that why you're wanting me to zip yeah, up your pencil case? There you go. Okay, go put that away. Um, I found some. It's the simple things. The simple things that make me really happy. Money off my groceries and grocery slots available. Cleanup is starting to happen over here. I don't quite know how much cleaning up is happening when Wesley's over there working against the cleaners. Clean, clean up, Wes man. But we're getting some stuff done here. I'm just waiting for the oven to finish heating up here so I can put this naan bread in the oven. And I've got everything else ready to go to be set. Uh, we've got apples and carrot sticks, and then we've got this hummus. So that's gonna be lunch. Are you pretty hungry? Are you so hungry? I love when you're such a big helper. Yeah, even when I don't really, like, really enjoy doing this, I just want to help. Yeah, I didn't ask her to. She said, can I come and cut the pita chips for you? I actually like the job. I think it's kind of fun just cutting it with scissors. You don't think so? Are you looking at me funny because you licked your thumb? <laughs> and now you're touching everybody's food? <laughs> well, I, I like it. I would like it better than some making lunch jobs, but I don't like Love it, because it does kind of get And do it right over there so you're not dropping crumbs on the floor. Okay. You're doing great. We're definitely ready for another song. All right, I think we're officially 
ready, I hope. <laughs> She's setting a timer to put away all of our winter stuff. I put away our winter coats and snow pants probably almost a month ago now, but there are still some times where it's nice to have a pair of gloves. So this is our bench where we keep all this stuff. So we've got, well, we have chalk, <laughs> but we just also have all of our gloves and hats and mitts and all that stuff. So, um, and apparently somebody leaves socks in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. So as you can see, this is a mess, but I'm going to take all this stuff out and stick it all into the washing machine and wash that. And I went out into the garage this morning and got out this tub. Hello. Um, and this holds all of our, like just like slides, flip flops and stuff, as well as the kids sun hats. So this, um, this stuff we also keep. You watching the kids out there? We also keep all that stuff in that bench. So, and Andrew is growing, I believe it's asparagus back here. <laughs> yeah, anyways, so we're gonna wash all that stuff and do a big switch over today. Okay, it's been a couple of hours, but I got all that, the sandals and stuff out. The kids keep getting disappointed because it is not a very nice day outside today. It's pretty cold. Um, as you've seen, it's pretty sunny. Like the light on my face right here is really good. It's really nice and sunny, but it's cold. And so we got all the sandals out and you know, my kids are in shorts and why? We didn't have a snack or we didn't have a candy. Yet. Okay, little miss who always wants something. Yes, I'm gonna be making a snack right away here, but they keep going outside. <laughs> they're like, oh, it looks so nice, let's go outside. And they go out for 10 minutes and they're like, hey, it's so cold. And then, like right, Elijah? Like yeah, it looks so nice out. I'm gonna go out and play. Oh, it's really windy and really cold. So mm -hmm. they keep getting a bit disappointed, but this they did bundle here. up and go out for a bit. But, here, oh, I love it. Do you know what? Charity got that Barbie during rest time and she brushed her hair out and made it so pretty. Doesn't that look so nice? Do you think you'd like to have hair that long someday? Yeah. Do you think so? That but I want to so buy pretty. a Bobby that sings sometimes like that's purple. Mm-hmm. And pink and teal and green teal. Yeah, tell everybody, what are your favorite colors? Purple and pink and teal and green teal. Say that clear. I don't know if anybody can understand you. Purple and pink and teal and green teal. Yeah. So her fa I think your, your favorite, favorite color is purple though, isn't it? It always has been. But yeah, purple and pink and teal and gold and silver. She's always telling me that those are her favorite <laughs> colors. Yeah. Well, you are quite the princess. Yeah. Got snack out and ready. Everyone's just having yogurts. Guaranteed they're going to fight over <laughs> these different flavors. And then I also just got a sleeve of these air root cookies out. Um, I myself, I'm just going to have a protein bar. And I'm also... Where is it? I know I have a bubbly in here. I'm also gonna drink this bubbly because I am loving drinking these bubblies. Wesley is still napping, so the other kids are gonna come over here right away and have a snack, but he'll have one. Whenever he gets up, it is 20 after three right now. He went down at one o'clock, so he's been sleeping for over two hours. It is very usual for him to nap two and a half hours or even three hours sometimes. He is such a good napper, I love it. Um, he's such a good sleeper at night, like he'll go down at quarter after seven, never. I almost don't wanna say this because my kids always go through phases where like they go to sleep well or then they'll cry because they don't wanna go to bed um, at different ages. And anyway, right now and for the last like few months, he does not make a peep. He loves to go to bed. And then again, after lunch, when it's rest time, he loves to go to bed and he'll sleep and sleep. So it's kind of nice, I like it, but by four o'clock is like my last. Like if he's still sleeping at four o'clock, I wake him up. It's not usual for me to be in my workout clothes at what, 3.30 in the afternoon, but I was a lazy butt this morning. Not so much lazy butt that I didn't get my workout in, but I was a lazy butt in that, um, I'm just looking for a workout on the iPad right now. I was a lazy butt and then I just stayed in bed. My alarm went off and I just stayed in bed because I didn't feel like getting up and working out. And that's, ugh, it's such a hard thing because um, I feel like working out at this time of the day so, so, so much more than I do in the early hours of the morning. Like right now, I feel like working out. Uh, I don't really in the morning, I just do it. Uh, but in the middle of the day, it's harder to do when all the kids are up and there's other things going on. 
Also, I like to get ready in the morning, and so then for me to be sweaty, and then I have to shower, and bleh, whatever. It works better in the morning, but I feel like it in the afternoon. Anyway, I'm gonna close the vlog here, get a workout in, hopefully I can do it without too many interruptions and stuff, and make sure that you go check out Bethany's video when you're done watching mine, uh, which you will be in like five seconds here. I'll see you next time, bye.